Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with director Cameron Thrower, actress and producer Rebecca Tripp and lead actor Nick Eversman with their movie Pretty Boy. Let's take a look at a clip. Okay, this is it. You ready? Happy birthday, son. What's your name? Sean James Collins. What's your name? Whatever you want it to be. I've never done this before. Oh, I have. Stop, stop! What's wrong with you, kid? My dad found a magazine in my room. And? It had naked men in it. I was so ashamed. People ever look at you weird? Call you names? People at school call me a lot of names. Pretty boy, mostly. The exhausting trying to fix something that's not broken. So, Cameron, Rebecca, and Nick, welcome to the studio. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so us. much more. Uh, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Uh, Pretty Boy is about a young man named Sean. His father takes him to a motel room, rents him a prostitute, and he has to sleep with her to fix his questionable homosexuality. I think that's one of the best synopsis we've ever had, actually. It's just so, so intriguing <laughs> yes. to watch without even watching it. Um, now, you guys did fantastic jobs, which we'll go into, but, but firstly, Cameron, how did you come up with the idea of this? Um, being from the South, mm -hmm. South Carolina, um, growing up as a gay kid, uh, there was a lot of negative uh, negativity toward the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, I really want to write something for the young people of today, gay, straight, just people who feel different. And um, with this project, we just wanted to put in so many positive messages, especially the letter at the very end yeah. that uh, Katie gives to Sean. Uh, it's just not for Sean, but it's for anybody out there that is just trying to connect to other people without feeling like they're being judged. Cameron, now you wrote and directed this. Yes. What was it like taking on both of those roles? <laughs> oh man, uh, it, it was actually really liberating because um, just I guess all the feelings you have inside growing up, uh, you're able to put those on paper and you're kind of free in a way. Mm -hmm. um, but with the help of, you know, Rebecca here uh, and also Nick adding in feedback of what they thought about their characters because, I mean, they're the ones playing these people. Um, Speaking just, of which, how did you find these amazing <laughs> actors? I can't um, believe it. Yeah, uh, they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, we actually used to work together at a restaurant um, in Los Angeles. And, which shall uh, not be named. Which shall yes. not be named. <laughs> well, um, it brought you guys together, that was important. Exactly. Right? Yes. Uh, but yeah, we, I met them and then through working through the whole process of writing Pretty Boy, I wanted to write something for Rebecca. And then uh, finishing it up, I kind of met Nick in a way and then I gave it to him and he was like, I want to do it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, right that's great. Yeah. And that's kind of mm -hmm. how it all started. Mm -hmm. I mean, Honestly, it, I, it was, I always say this, but like, it's so hard to be able to cap, be captured by the relationships in a short film. But you, both of yours performance, I was just literally like, I couldn't take my eyes off you, both of you, just how you react with each other and the emotions that you were going through. Um, is that something as a director you kind of gave them feedback on or is that just the genius of these two actors? It's the genius of them. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I try to go to their shows all the time. Um, I go to the Antius Theater to see her shows all the time. So writing around what I know she's so good at, which is everything. Mm -hmm. And then Nick watching his movies. One of my favorite films of his is Cinema Verte. On, uh, it plays a lot on HBO. Mm -hmm. And after watching that, I'm like, oh, that's our Sean. But mm -hmm. he brought so much more to this character than I ever thought he would. Yeah, Nick, you did. It was actually incredible. Oh, what you. was it like taking on this role? Um, it, you know, it was a little different for me. It, it was definitely liberating uh, for myself. I was bullied a lot when I was younger, um, mainly just because I was short and I, I kind of hung out with um, 
uh, what should I say, uh, some kids with special needs and, and was kind of bullied for it. And um, I never really understood that just because we're all kind of people. Um, so when I was given the opportunity to, um, to, to uh, take a look at the, the script and, and read it and um, you know, saw all of the ways that are kind of connected to my own life and, and uh, you know, kind of feelings that I had when I was growing up and uh, even as a, a young adult, as an 18 year old, you know, still kind of struggling with that stuff. Um, you know, just bullying in general. Um, you know, I, I jumped at the opportunity to get on board. Um, you know, it was a it was a script, and and, and these people are both Cameron and, and, and Becca are, are, are so um, you know the heart is is so invested in into these projects. Um, mm. You know, I, you guys have worked together a few well, times. Uh, yeah, so. so you guys are obviously, you know, Rebecca, you had a wonderful interaction, you know, relationship um, with Nick's character. Um, but you took on two roles for this. You took on, you produced and you starred in mm. Pretty Boy. How was that for you? Um, wonderful. When you're working with the people that I had the good fortune to work with. Um, knowing Cameron, as he said, uh, and, and working on, on many projects with him. Um, he allows for so much freedom. And this was really, I think, a passion project for him. Uh, so to be gifted with the opportunity to have as much input as I had, uh, Nick on set, everybody, um, is, it, it was phenomenal. And um, to, for him to allow me to, to um, you know, put my hands into it and, and mix it up a little bit um, was lovely. And mm -hmm. so, uh, especially on set, you know, we created a, a real safe place in that hotel room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, for every member uh, of the cast and crew, and so it was uh, a playground, and so it was. It's a good just, way to put yeah, it. Yeah, it, yeah, really yeah. Was, yeah. Really totally. Was. I love using that. And it's oh, it's a playground on set. That's great. Yeah, That's yeah. great. But it really, it really showed. I mean, I, I just to say, it was just there in the moment. You know, it's so great to see kind of these two different characters. You know, because the prejudgments that you may have of someone who you know is, is a prostitute or you know someone who's who's bullied and kind of like feeling doesn't have the self-confidence yeah. what did you feel like these two characters just from like coming together like what was that kind of experience like uh well, i'll say for myself i mean it was it was very very interesting uh and, <laughs> and really cool at the same time you know i, I talked with cameron about this um because this is actually i guess something that that happens um People uh, try to fix the, you know, kind of the homosexuality or, or, or you know, fix their children and, in, in, uh, you know, if, if they're not comfortable with it, you know, themselves. So uh, for me, I, I was kind of just taken aback by like, this is, this is actually what happens? That's, wow, I, I, I can't really even believe that. Um, but, I, you know, I don't know. It's just, it, it's, you know, you never know where you're going to find your allies and your mm -hmm. friends and, mm -hmm. and the people who are going to stick up for you and, right. and go to bat for you and, and really put themselves uh, out on a, on a ledge, you know, yeah. as, as uh, Katie does in, in this. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, something that happens a lot in our society are labels and, mm -hmm. and preconceived notions. You know, you are gay, so you act like this. You yeah. are straight, so you act mm -hmm. like this. You're mm -hmm. a prostitute, so you act like this. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing that we really found and Cameron really found within this story is that stripped away, we're all, you know, souls and beings and, and, it, and, that, and I mean, you know, it's, it's, um, it gets in a little into the existential, but, mm -hmm. but honestly, it was these two sort of people that uh, ha had some rough times and, and were wearing masks a lot in their yeah. life mm -hmm. and they found this place where they didn't have to wear those masks and right. with mm -hmm. another person that they could connect with and, and share with and uh, I think that that was huge not only for Sean but I think that was huge for Katie mm -hmm. in the film as well. What was some of your biggest challenges making this film? Um, I think definitely is just finding the right people, mm -hmm. casting the right people. Um, these two, when I finally found them and then finding John at an open audition, I think once we had him, I'm like, okay, now we can move forward. Yeah, I couldn't imagine anyone else playing the role. It's just like, yeah, when you we, found them. When we saw John, we're like, okay, we can end the audition now. But yeah. we still yeah. have John, when he came in, <laughs> right. when he came in and I, I got to read with him, it was kind of, I just turned to Cameron and I was like, 
Yep. 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 Like, yep. 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 We got it. That guy. That guy. Um, and then also, I think finding the right DP, that took me forever. Um, Jesse Aragon is... Beautiful to watch. Yeah. Uh, I'm so excited to work with him in the future. Um, but yeah, he just came in. He was like, what do you have for me? He read the script. He jumped on board. Um, he was just absolutely fantastic. And with our composer, Lillard Anthony, as well, uh, the music in it is just a whole oh, other beautiful. character. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I guess my interview with him is he was just trying to go deep inside the story, yeah. not with in Pretty Boy, but within me. Yeah. And I think that's why I was like, okay, you're you're really deep, and let's let's do this, you know. And plus, I've heard all of his other stuff, and he's an amazing producer and songwriter. So it was just amazing. And speaking of how deep you go, I felt like I was like in that motel room. Is that kind of weird, right? But I felt like I was, I felt like I was there. It was like you know because that's the theme of the music and the way that it was shot, and and obviously there's this. If you haven't seen it, just look away now. I'll put your fingers in your ears. But if uh, the, the moment when you really capture what your character's going through and what he's feeling when you guys have that moment was just so, like, like you just got taken out of this world of, like, what was going through him emotionally. Um, and it was so beautiful to see and, and, to, and to watch. In your experience now that you've shown this uh, around, what's your audience response been? Ooh, it's been crazy uh the the response that we're all getting um has been something that i couldn't have prepared myself for um we just wanted to i mean this is very cliche but we just really wanted to help one kid out there you mm-hmm. know that's it but after seeing the final project and audiences seeing this is actually helping so much more mm-hmm. right now in these small film festivals like Absolutely. we would be honored to get into these huge film festivals mm-hmm. i mean new, new filmmakers mm-hmm. being one of them but getting into these smaller ones mm-hmm. means just the same because these kids can come and watch these films and exactly. maybe it can just help them when they accidentally watch pretty boy well, we it, it, we say i mean it's like there's there could be that one person that's going to watch your film and it's going to change their life yeah. For the power of the moving image, yeah. you know, how does it feel? You know, coming from you know South Carolina, and then having this idea of making this film, and then being officially selected for new filmmakers, Los Angeles, a LGBT month as well, around a very iconic time of the United States of America. Yeah, it's, it feels amazing to be a part of this, um, and being from South Carolina, and it's it's gotten so much better from when I was mm-hmm. a kid. Um, but in a lot of places, it hasn't gotten better, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think this just being part of New Filmmakers puts the stamp of approval mm-hmm. on us. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, when we found out, I mean, I've been following you guys for a long time, and I mm-hmm. know the history. So, I mean, when I told her and him, I was like, get ready, guys. It's going to be a fun one. Get ready. Yeah. You know, and she flew in from Atlanta. So. Oh, you did? Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been down there um, for a few months just checking out acting and, and filming television down there. And I... I called my mom and I said, Mom, we're, we're going to go to L.A. and we're going to go to the New Filmmakers Festival. And, and so she came out for it. And it was, a, and it was an amazing um, audience Hi, reception. Mom. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we had, a great, we had a, a great evening last night. So, yeah. Rebecca, you're over in Atlanta right now exploring uh, the pop At the opportunities. Moment, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the film and television scene out there is sort of exploding. So yes. being in the, yeah, it's pretty big. And yeah. being in the South, um, uh, you know, I, there is a lot of change that's happening, especially um, uh, with you know the the huge and amazing kind of uh, unification that happened uh, mm-hmm. two days ago, and mm-hmm. um, and also um, there's so many changes happening in the United mm-hmm. States and, and and globally as well. But but um, it's interesting to get a look at a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, Los Angeles tends to be a lot more open-minded and a lot more accepting, and and it's. It's a great reminder that there are other places in, in the world and in the country that, that aren't so open. That's right, and we're all coming together to make changes, right? Mm-hmm. Which is yeah. just Absolutely. wonderful. Yeah. Um, what's next for you, Nick? Are you continuing to take on these challenging roles? Uh, I, I would love to, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Um, you know, just kind of waiting to see what, what comes my way next. Um, yeah, just taking it day by day, really. Uh, I think what was so great to see you guys was just, just such an honest performance. You know, it was just, it, was, it felt so, so real. Um, and just from the audience reaction of what we got and new filmmakers, everyone just was, was there on your journey. And uh, that's something you can't buy. I mean, that's, you made that in a short film and it's, it's, it's incredible. What's next for you, Cameron? Um, well, we have a couple shorts coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, one called Lunch, one called Beauty Mark. 
and uh, we're working on a feature as well oh, called right. Queens of the Sunrise Trailer Park, which we're really oh, that's excited, so funny. <laughs> excited about. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just uh, having such a good time traveling with this film as we're writing. Um, yeah, we're just ready for the next one, you know? Well, honestly, you guys are all very talented, and I, feel, I hope that you guys continue to work together in some form of capacity. Yeah, yeah. done. You know, dream team. Dream team, yeah, exactly. So you can thank that restaurant, can <laughs> you, really? Yeah. Um, but no, seriously, well done to you all. And everyone must watch Pretty Boy because it really does take you on an incredible journey. And I'm so happy that you came together to make this film and you know add to the great changes that are taking place in the United States and across the world. So thank, thank you very thank much. You for thank, you. Thank, you. thank you so much.